Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am back from my vacation and sadly I missed this car when it came out as well as the URD Biro GT3. Um, I will be making a video on that later today if not tomorrow. But we're talking about the RSS Formula Supreme. Ladies and gentlemen, RSS is back from their hiatus since March, pretty much. They did their Formula Hybrid 2017 in summer. They updated it, but this is their first fully new car since the Formula Hybrid 2021, all the way back in March. So it's nice to see that RSS are still kicking around and they have an absolutely amazing car to show off boy oh boy if you don't know what the rss formula supreme is in real life this is the stock spec chassis i guess you could say that is raced in the japanese super formula championship these cars are only about seven seconds slower than Formula 1 cars. These things are about on pace with Formula 2 cars, if not a little faster actually, and they are just insane to drive. They have so much grip, so much power, and it is just a baby Formula 1 car pretty much. This car as well as the real life Super Formula cars run 550 brake horsepower, 480 newton meters of torque and it all just weighs 670 kilograms these things are also running a 2 liter turbocharged hybrid engine i do believe it's a v6 i could be wrong on that though and if you've never heard of the super formula championship it's fine um i have heard of it before but i've never really like watched it or anything but if you don't know, there have been some amazing current Formula One drivers who have took part in this championship, most notably Pierre Gasly and Stoffel Van Dorn. And there are some current F2 drivers, I believe, either taking part in the championship right now or will be in the next coming season. So if you want to watch the real Super Formula Championship, then there is your incentive to see some stars of the future go at it in some super, super quick open wheel cars around Japan's best circuits. But beyond that, these things are super fun to drive here in Assetto Corsa. RSS have done an amazing job, as they always do. The car model is super high quality, the physics are just right, I think they're very believable, and they do produce similar lap times to real life, so a great accuracy there gives me hope in the physics being correct, and overall, it's a race sim studio car, so you already know the quality of these things. I'll shut up and give you guys an onboard bit of Fuji Speedway in this thing so you can see it, hear it and just enjoy it because man oh man is this thing a joy to drive and it looks stunning as well. So yeah, Race Sim Studio, it's a pay mod, link in the description below to the self lease store where they're selling this thing. It's only about £3.80, I thought it was actually 4 50 I was thinking of VRCs, so I'm glad I checked that, but yeah, super bang for your buck car, super fun to drive, and if you want some incentive to buy it, my league down below to the Discord, link to it 
real life esports we will be running a special event with this thing in the coming months i can guarantee you so you can buy it if you want to take part in that and be ready if not just buy this thing it is so so fun but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys did enjoy, a like and a sub would mean a lot. We are on the road to 2K, and we are motoring our way up to it. So thank you guys so much. Again, later today, if not tomorrow, I'll be making a video on Yordi's Byro GT3 for the 2021-2022 M4. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, then... <laughs> You can wait and see it when I make the video, but thank you guys for watching. I'll shut up. Have a nice day. Thank you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.